Here is the lace support wig strap. It's sewn on and I have another video coming with how I sew it on with all the tips. So as you can see it's sewn on. So right now I just want to show you how I put it on my head. So you want to make sure that you know you have it fully extended out. So it's fully extended out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it inside out. Get it nice and you know ready for me to put on. So um, <clears throat> as you can see, these are my edges. I have what's called traction alopecia, and that is a result of wearing braids too tight. So that's what traction alopecia looks like. And up here, I'm just getting some thinning, and that's just from, you know, old age. But anyway, I don't like to throw my pretty wigs over my head, so I'm just going to put it on like this. Move that back a little bit. I have a mirror right there. Just kind of position it where I want it, make sure my straps are hanging down. What I should do is clamp the hair up out the way. I have my clip right here. So I'm going to turn around. And so as you can see, straps out the way. I'm going to go ahead and put my combs in. Or comb. So I have three combs. That one. <clears throat> one on each side and pull it out. So put that comb in and this one on this side. So position my wig. Put the drawstrings behind my ear. See that one? Started sliding the fastener. You want to make sure that your hair is shaved because this is a vinyl stretchable elastic and it really adheres to your skin. You can make it as tight as you want it. So there it is. The farther down it's pulled, the more snug it gets. So here it is. It's pretty snug. It keeps your wig in all day. I mean, you can. It keeps it in place just all day and all, all night. The straps do not slide or loose. They're very, very secure. And then, you know, once you have your wig on, you can go ahead and, um, you know, pull your little hair out. Now, it's not going to blend in really good because I'm not, you know, um, <clears throat> sitting in the mirror with my, you know, my gel and all that stuff. But basically, that's what you, that's what it looks like. So, here's the side. Very tight. There's, you know, the fastener, the straps. So, um, it's, I love it. It stays in place and I'm sure you will love it too. If you have, you know, hair and you want to wear your hair up, you know, you can take take your hair out if you have really nice thick edges, which I know a lot of you young girls do. So this is the strap sewn in. And uh, basically, as I told you before, the strap, I designed the strap with women that doesn't have any hair on the edges like me to be able to wear, you know, um without any combs. So you see I only had combs way back there so you don't need combs all along here anymore. And um, for those women that don't want to sew it in their wigs then you put it on, position it in place and you use the double sided tape. You just put that double sided tape on, peel it off and press your wigs down. I have, I've tried it with the tape. I have not found a tape that lasted more than two days. After two days, 
my wig started lifting on the edges. They stayed pretty good around here, but just the edges started to lift off the tape. So I don't know if you want to put the tape on and glue the wig, uh, you know, put the tape on and press the wig down to the tape. Maybe you can use a little thin uh, wig glue. I don't know what you call it, bonding wig glue. A little thin coating of bonding wig glue over the tape and then press it so then maybe you'll have you know a longer hold you won't have to use new tape every day but I, I think the tape is not expensive so but anyway so two ways to wear this you can wear this with the tape or you can sew it in it is totally glueless and keep your wigs down alrighty thank you for watching